Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be comparing activewear by brands. I have about five brands I'm gonna share with you today. I hope you guys get some insight from this. I have been wearing these workout sets for quite a while now, so I feel like I am pretty qualified to talk about them. This video is not sponsored by any of them. Before we get into the video, please answer the question of the day, which is gonna be, what is your favorite brand of activewear. In this video, I'm going to be answering that question myself. I have a specific brand I like for leggings, and then I have another brand that I like for the bra. And as you can see, I'm wearing my little kick-ass sports bra and black leggings right now, just to keep the theming of this video. I also wanted to throw in here that I've been wanting to try Adidas and Puma's activewear. I just haven't had the chance to get my hands on them. I know one of my favorite YouTube fitness bloggers, Pamela, she always wears Puma and she did this collaboration, but the stuff that she released, it was only available in Europe. So I was really bummed about that. I really wanted to get some of her pieces. Um, sorry for the lighting. I film around the same time and the sun just likes to move. Thanks, Florida. That was a rambly intro, I'm sorry. Let's just get on to the video. So the workout sets I'm gonna share are in no specific order. I'm just gonna hold them up so you guys can see and kind of get understanding and I'll tell you how much they are and a little review of like my likes and dislikes about the set. Starting off, this set was one of my first workout sets. It is purple. It looks like this. And most of these came with like pads in the bra, but I've just taken them out because I don't really want to have that while I'm working out. So this is the bra, it looks like this. Um, it has these thin straps and it kind of crisscrosses in the back as you guys can kind of see. It has some openings so your back can breathe or maybe that's just for stylistic reasons. But this is the bra and it's interesting because this little sticker is actually peeling off and I ordered a size medium, but it looks like they just covered it up because it says L here. They put a medium sticker over top of the L. It stands for large, so I'm like, is this a large or is it a medium? That's very misleading. The matching bottoms are super cute. Um, they're the same purple. They have some detail on the sides, some ribbed action going on. I don't know if you can kind of see it. There's the holes in the bottom here. Very thick, very good for what I paid for this set. So this set altogether was 30 bucks off of Amazon. Um, if I can find it, I will link it down below. But this is insane. I got this whole set for 30 bucks off Amazon. Like, I think this was probably the best deal. This is definitely not my favorite workout set. The material is kind of thick, which maybe some of you will consider that good quality, but it's kind of thick when you're working out. Um, it's supportive. I mean, it gets the job done right, but it's not my favorite, but it's definitely a set that I would suggest, especially if you're just starting working out, you don't want to spend like a bunch of money on workout clothes. That's kind of what I did when I started my whole journey and stuff because I didn't want to be putting all this money into something like what if I don't continue working out? That would just be a waste, right? The leggings are definitely not my favorite. I avoid wearing these at all costs because I just don't like them. I don't like the way they feel. And as you'll see, I have a lot of other leggings to choose from, but this bra is actually pretty good. Next, we're gonna talk about Gymshark because I really like this set. Um, I do know the controversy that has gone on with this company, but I'm just gonna talk about the set because that's what we're here to talk about. Uh, I did pay for this and I still wear it just because I paid for it and it was kind of pricey. Um, I think in my video I did about Gymshark, they had really good customer service and I don't think I would be buying anything else from them just in general because I just wanted something with this like band here. <laughs> That's like really the only reason why I got this. But um, overall, I really like this set. To me, it's a set that you would wear in the winter because it's very thick and especially the leggings are very thick. If you like a thicker material while you're working out, like maybe you sweat a lot and you need something to like absorb it, this would be very good. Um, I do like the design on it. I thought it was kind of weird that it had like these different colors and stuff, but when you wear it, it's really nice. Another thing I'm gonna point out, like in the front here, where like girls have like a little pooch, like we all have a pooch, it's fine. This kind of accentuates it. Like if you're taking pictures, you kind of need to suck it in because I don't know what it is around this area, but it kind of like 
makes it maybe because this is like pressing against your body like this band but it kind of makes your little pouch stick out a little bit so just keep that in mind these are definitely not my favorite pair of leggings but together i love the way my body looks in this set i think it really complements it i said that a lot in the other video so i don't need to harp on that um this is probably my favorite bra it kind of hides my back fat like i have this like little roll here that like sometimes bras really like push the skin slash little layer of fat down and it's just not that attractive so i really like this one again that's another reason why i like this purple one because it kind of covers that like area that kind of pokes out okay so the price of the gymshark leggings is 40 dollars and the bra costs 35. Um, do I think it's worth it? Not really, like that's kind of expensive for both of these things. Again, I got this purple set for $30 and I mean, again, they're not my favorite, but you'll have to really want this set to spend that much money and I did really want the set so I spent the money but $40 plus another 35. If you really wanted this set, I would like ask for it for like a birthday present or something, like have someone get you the bra and then have someone get you the leggings. But overall, I don't think it's worth it for this set. The leggings, not my favorite, and the bra, my favorite. This is probably my favorite bra. Next, we are going to talk about Fabletics. So my cousin was so gracious enough to get this for me for my birthday. I'm so grateful for it. I love this top. I love the leggings. These leggings are surprisingly really good and they're a lot higher quality than I was expecting from Fabletics because I know that they put so much stuff on sale and everything. But I like their little logo, little F feather thing. Um, it has a pocket in the back. So you could, I guess you could like put your phone or like cards if you're going on a run, which is really cool. I was like really surprised at how cool these leggings were. They really suck you in, which is really nice. The fabric is really thick. The bra on the other hand, I wear it as a shirt because it does not hold the girls in. I was so afraid when I was working out in this thing that I would become exposed. So I don't wear this to work out, but I wear it as a top, like with high-waisted shorts. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see I wore it to Magic Kingdom. So it just looks like this. Um, it has some little detail where the boobs go. It did, I think, come with pads. It did come with pads. Like all of these came with pads, but I don't really want the pads. So this is what the bra looks like. Very cute. So the Fabletics leggings, they are originally like $49, but they always have like sales. So on the website, it said 49, but you can get it for 24. Honestly, that is a really good price for this quality of legging. 25 bucks, yeah. That's a really good deal, especially for how this is made. It is made so well. Out of all my leggings, these are the most like well made. These are probably my second favorite pair of leggings. The bra costs $40 originally, but they had it like marked down to like 23. So again, that's really good. I don't know if I would like recommend getting a bra, um, this specific one because of the support. Like if you have like a little bit larger boobs, like I just, I don't know if this is the best thing to work out in but for a top just to like go out with your friends to get ice cream or something very good and for like 20 around 20 dollars like it's, this is really well made for that so i'm surprised next up we have kick ass which as you know i'm wearing the little black set today but i also really love the pink and they just came out with this like blue color that i want but I don't know, I just don't want to spend the money right now. This set is honestly one of my favorites, even though I feel a little bit conscious with the bra situation. The bra's only $25, which that's actually amazing. And it's really well made. Again, like I don't see anything like crazy. We do have some fraying here, but that might be because like I put it in the washer and I don't think it's really supposed to go in the washer, but I'm kind of lazy. Um, it does come with pads too, but again, I took them out. Yeah, $25 for this thing not bad definitely not bad I don't know if you can see the little peach logo on the back I love their logo really cute so this is $25 I think this is worth it the leggings though the leggings are where it's at 
Again, we have some fraying on the back, but I think that's because I put it in the washer. Um, I do think they're well made, but I feel like these ones are a little bit, the Fabletics ones are a little bit more like sturdy, but maybe it's just because these are a little bit thinner. But these are my favorite pair of leggings ever. I'm not saying that because Karen is one of my favorite like influencers or whatever. I'm genuinely saying that. I love how it sucks you in. I love how thin it is. The uh, fabric is really, really smooth. So I love the Fabletics ones, but they're a little thick. So maybe I would wear this in the winter. These my friends. When they say buttery smooth, that's the perfect way to describe these things because they are so buttery smooth. They're really comfortable. They hold you in. So again, like I was saying, you know, people, a lot of girls have a little pooch. This holds it in and it makes your butt look so good. I don't know, man. The kick-ass leggings are $40. So I think that's pretty fair. You do have to total in shipping. It kind of sucks. I think they do free shipping for like certain like prices if you spend so much, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. If you are just looking for leggings, buy the kick-ass leggings. If you're just looking for a bra, maybe go on like Amazon and then your total will be cheaper, but the sets look really cute together. Last but not least, let's talk about Lululemon. Lululemon, I don't know what to say. These leggings, I don't know if I need to disclose the price, these were like a hundred dollars. These are not worth a hundred dollars. I'm so sorry. They're, they're very comfortable. Don't get me wrong. They're probably my third favorite workout leggings. And I say third favorite because I normally wear these like when I'm home doing my work. So when I'm just sitting at my computer and stuff, I don't necessarily work out in them because as you guys know, my first choice is a kick-ass. My second choice is the Fabletics. And then I think it would be Lululemon. I don't know, they, they're very like wooly and they're very airy, but for how much they cost, Oh my gosh, they are not worth it. If I had like $100 to like blow just because I didn't know what else to do with my money, yeah, totally, they're great leggings, but like these are so expensive. Luckily the logo is still like intact. Nothing has come off when it comes to the logo. I clipped the tag because it would always like tickle my butt. I don't have a top to go with them because the tops just didn't fit me right when I went. I feel like they make them like super small. So overall, that is my total review slash comparison of all of the sets. I hope this video was kind of like insightful to you. Maybe it provided you some entertainment. My favorite leggings are kick-ass. My favorite bra that I absolutely adore is the Gymshark one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment down below your favorite workout brand. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.